are now tuned in to KULM, the Hawkeye Live News. News for students, by students. Hello, Warhawk Nation, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Hawkeye Live. I'm Tim Russell. And I'm Jared Keller. February begins a month-long celebration of black history. We recently called up to some ULM administrators and got their opinion of the importance of these events and what's going on around campus. February is black history. ULM pays homage to the many influential African Americans by honoring them in various events. Dr. Pamela Salisbury talks about the importance of bringing influential African American leaders to campus. I think it's extremely, I really cannot um, emphasize that enough, I say just how important I think that is. It, it's important for students to see not only the professors out in the community doing this or that, say if, if someone's a professor of, of music, to see them in a concert, or, or someone like myself, a social worker, uh, see them out doing, providing some kind of social service. And I, I think, though, it's not just important for that person in social work or that person in music or that person in journalism to see. I think it's important for everyone to see because, again, it's part of the education. It's part of the, uh, uh, to me, promoting what this specific event is all about or this month is all about. Dr. Brumfield speaks about the various events hosted by ULM during Black History Month. We've been very fortunate to have had two great alums to come in this week and uh, we hope that uh, toward the end of the month we will be featuring a gospel concert and that concert uh, will the choirs will sing songs of freedom that's the theme for this year the past influences that african americans have had on society are great and are celebrated by students on dwellings campus valentine's day is quickly approaching we go around campus asking students some valentine's day trivia and find out what plans they have for the special day Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and that means love is in the air. Students tell us what they have planned for the special day. Mine are delayed, because my boyfriend has a night class, so. Uh, no, no. Well, I just got engaged not too long ago, so. Maybe mini golf, some dinner, you know. I, I mean, I always want to play mini golf, and with dinner movies overrated, because everybody does it. So maybe like mini golf, walk in the park, something to really get to know before. The only way we can lead up to something else after. Mm, I'll probably just hang with friends and study mostly. We ask students some Valentine's Day trivia. Uh, how many Valentine's Day cards are exchanged annually? Mm, 20 million. <laughs> 20 million. Okay. How many Valentine's Day cards are exchanged each year? Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know. Maybe somewhere <laughs> in the millions. A billion. <laughs> It is approximately 150 million. Oh. <laughs> How many Valentine's Day cards are exchanged each year? Um, no. um, five million. Close, 150 million. Holy crap. With all the frenzy that surrounds Valentine's Day, hopefully students will keep their significant others in mind and get to spend time with their loved ones. This week's Spotlight on ULM features Alicia Cook. We sit down with this ULM student to find out what makes her stand out. Hi, my name is Alicia Cook, but everyone calls me Cookie. I'm a mass communication student, but I'm also an aspiring model and future superstar, and I am working to make my dreams a reality. We are here with Alicia Dion Cook, otherwise known as Cookie. Um, how did you get into the world of modeling? Um, well, I always knew that it was something I wanted to do, and it pretty much started from um, one, one event leading to another. It's kind of like, uh, I guess, the networking. You know, getting one show leads to, I meet someone there, and it leads to another show, and it leads to a magazine feature, and so on. So I, I always knew I loved it. What accomplishment are you the most proud of so far in your career? Um, I have to say me winning the 2009 Wet Seal Model Search and I was featured in 400 plus Wet Seal stores nationwide and um, featured on wetseal.com and I thought that was, that was a big accomplishment for me because I thought that you know it's great that they picked me out of you know millions of girls in the world so I'm, I'm very proud of that. 
do you aspire to be like anybody in the modeling world or are you just kind of wanting to make your own path? Um, I do want to make my own path, but I feel that there are some ladies who have uh, created a, a path that I would, would like to follow as well, like um, Heidi Klune and Tyra Banks. I know it's a little cliche, but I um, admire them because they um, are, they have some of my future goals, which are like Tyra has, has a talk show, which is something that I, I want to do in the future. And also I want to be able to offer girls um, a chance to, you know, fulfill their dreams like Heidi and like Tyra have done on their shows. So, you know, I admire that about them. So what are your overall goals with your modeling? Um, my overall goals, um, I really want to be on the cover of Vogue. Actually, I want to be on the cover of, of every magazine that people pick up. I want to be so, I want to be well known. You know, I want everyone to know my face. Starting to break into the industry, what advice would you give them? Um, I would say it's hard work because, like I said, I'm still working very hard to uh, to get where I want to be, but I believe that with hard work and dedication and faith that you can do anything that you put your mind to do. And like I said, I, I believe that I'm going to make it, and if you if it's what you want and you work hard for it, then you can do it as well. Well, Hawkeye Nation, that's it for another edition of the Hawkeye Live. Remember to pick up a hard copy of the Hawkeye newspaper on newsstands every Monday. Once again, I'm Tim Russell. And I'm Jared Keller. Sam, we will see you next time. The Hawkeye Live is a production of ULM Mass Communications Department.